but have you seen the Carville shunter around here? The locomotive should be fetching my express coaches for the 1145 train. Well, you're looking at him. Hey, you Gordon. I'm taking over Puffle's ship while he's taking a goods train down to Groflin Harbor. Besides, someone has to look after another's job. You do have a point there, but not all things can be easy like shunting coaches for one's passenger run. For all the express is an important job for an important engine like the very Doncaster you're looking at. You're one to talk. Anyway, you seem to pique someone's curiosity, Gordon. As I am tempted to know what it feels like to pull such an impressive train full of travelers from all around the world. And what a fancy train this is, my dear Casey. The Express, an example of elegance on the rails. Miles of the railway's finest coaches racing along the lines with a fine big engine in front. Like me. He pulls like a bullet train on the line, ensuring that the- Yeah, yeah, I know the deal. Expresses are the big fancy trains that only stop at the big important stations. And the locals are the ones that go to all the stations on the line, blah, 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 blah. We're all so happy in the end. You watch your mouth there. Not to sound repulsive or anything, but I think that a circus locomotive, such as yourself, should be better off pulling a train down the rubbish and recycling yard. Now go and fetch my coaches! <coughs> <coughs> Hey, is that my train seat, Junior? Yep. All ready to go down to Cell Grab City. Kids, kids, wait! Hey, uh, what's the matter, Gordon? You're taking my coaches. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. If I'm taking your coaches, who's gonna take my cars then? <laughs> Casey Jr., why would you go and do that? You didn't say where to bring your coaches, Gordon. Sayonara! Oh, the indignity.
KC Jr. is a small tender engine who works mixed traffic services on the railways of Gotun. He's a smart little engine who knows his way around the railway after working on it for many years. Oh, oh, oh no! <coughs> Though he is prone to getting into a few scrapes every now and then. One day, he was delivering a train of fuel and coal to the Crotonian yards of the Dreamfleet Railway Company, one of the many railway companies that worked the country's railways. Big Old Rusty, Dreamfleet's oldest steam engine, was arriving with a load of empties. He had just delivered a load of slates from the quarry all the way up to the docks in Gradinia Bay. Hey there, C. Junior! How's things? Pretty good. Just brought over some stuff for your fuel tanks and coal hoppers. Ah, oh, now that's a relief. You came right in time. We're just a quarter hopper away from being empty. Good to hear then. Say, where's Tracy? Tracy, the little shunting engine that worked the yards, who was usually upbeat and cheery, wasn't feeling very well. She'd overworked herself in the hot sun, and as a result, had overheated her boiler, which was electrically heated instead of using coal or wood to burn. Oh, sorry, Tracy, but you'll have to go to the works in Colville for repairs. We just can't let you risk your boiler burst and work with all those cars and coaches. But, sir, who's going to take my mail train? The villagers need to get their packages and letters delivered on schedule. Casey Jr. rolled up to the workman and Tracy. He had an idea. Hey, sir. What if I uh, took Tracy's mail train tonight? You, Casey Jr., are you sure? Sure as sure can be, sir. I just have a goods train to take to the docks at Groflin, so I can work her train later tonight. Okay, if you're sure, I'll let the mail depot supervisor and Miss Ella know. Workman called Miss Ella about the plan, which she approved, and the same went for the manager of the mail depot. Casey Jr. took his cars to the harbor and headed back to the sheds for a power nap. Nighttime can be very busy for the few engines who have jobs throughout the night. There's passengers to take home past the station in Norfolk, and freight to go to the factories, towns, and big ships at the harbor. The busiest type of train at night in Crotunia is the mail train. These trains take special coaches and wagons called mail cars, where the mail is loaded on and sorted en route to their destinations, sometimes traveling by air or road. Casey Jr. was soon at the mail depot, where his wagons and loaded packages were waiting. Edward was also there, helping Johnny with the mainline mail trains. Evening, Casey. Evening, Edward. How's things? Not bad. Mainline traffic's been the same for me. I take it you're taking over for Tracy? Yep, I'm taking her mail cars all the way down to... Um, where exactly am I taking the mail wagons? I figured you'd ask that. Here to take all the mail from here to Cliffstone Junction. Take care of the mail on the Mountain Branch Lines, and drop off your train at Gardenia Bay Station to let the other postal vehicles and the Pinewood Island mail engines complete the last little bit of work. Sure thing! Drop off to Cliffstone Junction. Mail for the Mountain Branch, final stop at... The Mountains?! 
Uh, you sure that's the right place to take them? Because the branch lines have really narrow lanes and really huge cliffs and are really high up in the river. Calm down, Casey. You're not frightened of the mountains, are you? Oh, of course not. I go on them all the time. It's the branch lines I'm worried about. Those rickety rails and tight cliffs make me nervous without a clear view. Well, imagine it's like the main line, and it should be better. <whistles> Goodbye, Casey Jr. Good luck. Okay. Uh, uh, thank you. Men moved quickly to ship the parcels, packages, and letters into Casey Jr.'s mail wagons. They were larger than Tracy's usual wagons, so they could fit a little more into them. Finally, the cars were loaded, and Casey Jr. was on his way. Casey Jr. slowly made his way up the line, a little worried about what would come later on. He soon made his first stop at Cliffstone Junction. Porters and workmen hurried to load and unload the mail for the towns near the stations and beyond the station. Then they set off for the first loop line, which ran from the junction, through the mountain, and up to the town of Rotoslopia. Casey Jr. soon made it to the first big slope. The track was rather steep, and there was little elbow room in the cliffs that surrounded it. It was tough to roll up the mountain at first, but Casey Jr. wasn't willing to give up just yet. Alright, give it everything we've got. Let's go. I think. I think. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on. I know. At last, after much pulling and much straining, he was finally at the top of the hill. Run! Casey Jr. felt much more confident. He didn't feel like slowing down now, imagining himself along the main line as Edward suggested. If only at the worst possible time. Casey, slow down! You're headed straight for me! Oh, oh. Who? What have happened to you, Glazy Jr.? Sorry, Pete. I didn't know you were coming down the hill. I was going down so fast. It was, it was hard to see you at the bottom. Hmm. First time out with a late night mail run, eh? Well, I can't say it was perfect on me first night run, but I did learn a thing or two from me mistakes. You can't be too confident or too underconfident about working in a new way or with a new job. You just have to go in there and do your best, no matter what. That's what I've learned, at least. <sighs> Thanks, Pete. You're welcome, say <sighs> Junior. Right, then. time to get going. Pete! Pete! <laughs> Where's that crate going? Oi! What crate? Oh, uh, the one on your last flatbed. I still don't know what you're rattling rivets! That crate's supposed to be at the docks! It's a specially ordered load of pavement stones for a customer in the UK! The ship's leaving at sunrise! Let me take it for you. I'm on my way to the docks anyway. Oh, thank you, Goisy Jr. You're a real saint. Soon, Casey Jr.'s conductor loaded the crate onto his first mail coach, and quickly Casey Jr. puffed away to finish up the mail run. The docks the crate was heading to was at Redinia Bay, at the very end of the Crotunian mainline. He knew he had a lot more stops to do, so he put on full steam and got to work as fast as his wheels could let him. He wasted no time getting his other work done. There was some for the manager of Cliffstone Center Quarry, where Speedy, Bill, and Ben worked. A little bit for the manager of the logging camps. A little bit for Rotoslopia Junction. A little bit for the steelworks in Bluesburg. A little bit for Boston. A bit for the search and rescue team. A little bit for his home in Colville Junction. Until at last, he was at Gradinia Bay Junction. The yards were already booming when he got there, and the Pinewood Island Mail Train and Johnny were waiting for him, ready to depart. Hey, C. Junior. Where are you heading to? Delivery for the docks! 
back in a bit. Okay, see you later. And after everything was done, Casey Jr. brought the crate over to the docks ready for shipping. He caught it in good time, too. The ship was completing its final loading procedures, and the crane wasted no time getting it on board. Later that morning, Sir Alan Featherington, head of operations on the railways of Crotunia, sent a message for Big Tim to deliver to Casey Jr. Hey, Casey! Got a message from Sir Alan. You seemed to do a good thing last night, bringing that special delivery back to the docks for Pete and sticking to your mail schedule on record time. Uh, so much so, he's taking you with him to an important trip to Boston for the weekend. He'll book you tours, a shed, and everything. Isn't that exciting? Well, uh, Casey, you doing okay, buddy? But he didn't get an answer. He was so tired from all the rushing around that he'd fallen fast asleep.